between iodide and iodine. Okay. So iodide is I minus. Okay. And in new iodine, the iodine in this is I2 liquid. Okay, it's a diatomic liquid form. And the main difference here is this one is water soluble and this one is fat soluble. Okay? So I like to I like people think, okay, this is like water iodine, this is like fat iodine, okay? And it turns out that the human body, especially once you start having thyroid problems, really prefers the fat soluble form. And you can actually get too much of this water soluble form and it can lead to problems including heart palpitations, headaches, a lot of things. And the problem is the oldest forms of iodine uh, that people made were called Lugol solution. And it was made in like the 1860s. And uh, basically this fat soluble form of iodine does not like water. Okay, it just will not, it doesn't like water as a solvent because it likes to be in, in a more of a fat soluble solvent. So, but they found a trick, and they found that if you mix the two forms together, you could force the solubility of this form into water. And that's what's called Lugol solution. It's been around a long time, but this form of iodine really doesn't like water. And if you have an energized form of this iodine, a new iodine is primarily this, but also there is also nascent iodine in there, which was the I, I zero or I dot or just plain old I. How it, there's many ways of writing it, uh, and there's an equilibrium of that in there. But pretty much as soon as you put nascent iodine in water, it destroys it. Okay, so that's why I tell people there you're losing a lot of the health benefits of your fat soluble iodine, especially if it's energized nascent iodine, if you put it in water. So a lot of iodine kind of soars. I realized, you know what? I don't want iodide in my iodine. So there is no iodide in the iodine. Okay, none of that in there. It is diatomic iodine in a liquid form. It's a fat soluble iodine. Okay, and because of that, uh, it's not in water. It doesn't like water. It's actually an alcohol. And you can put a drop. Well, you can put a drop of this directly onto your skin, and it will absorb right into your skin because it will go from the alcohol into your you rub it a little bit and the alcohol just evaporates and the iodine absorbs right into your skin okay once it, it touches your skin there's an electrical connection in your brain your body's like oh okay iodine's here and within 10 or 15 minutes the iodine has gotten everywhere in your body and then what happens is iodine detoxes fluoride chlorine and bromine okay now if you look at the periodic table the halogens it goes F, that's fluorine, Cl, that's chlorine, Br, bromine, and then I for iodine. Okay, but it's the same thing actually, that's, you know, it's the same thing, there's like an F and an F2, Cl, Cl2, Br, Br2, I, I2. Uh, all this, all this stuff that I talked about with iodine applies, just like there's a, there's a fluoride, a chloride, a bromide, and an iodide, and there's also a fluorine, a fluorine, a bromine, and an iodine. The main two forms you need to know out are the ides, with the, this is like the water soluble form, and the diatomic ones when they're liquid are the fat soluble forms. Okay. So the thing is, I, when you get the fat soluble form of iodine. It can easily convert in your body to the water soluble form of iodine, and the water soluble form of iodine can easily detox these guys. So it'll detox bromide, fluoride, and fluoride from your body. You need some fluoride in your body so it won't get all that. It'll get all the bromide and all fluoride out of there. Your body will retain some fluoride. But what's neat is this form will not detox these forms. But when you get the fat soluble form of iodine, like a new iodine, it will also detox chlorine, I mean that's bromine, chlorine, and fluorine. So by getting new iodine and having a diatomic iodine in there, you can you can detox all of it. Okay? With this form. So that's why new iodine is wonderful. And basically iodine is 
It's referred to as the heaviest metal that your body likes. It's not actually a metal, but it's metallic, and it detoxes halogens. Now, through desuppression of your thyroid, it will actually detox all the heavy metals out of your body, not just the halogens. But the way that works is it turns out that these guys are really toxic. Fluoride, and fluorine, uh, and bromide, and bromine are really toxic. You get bromine in your bread, you get fluoride in your water, uh, you get a lot of chlorine in your swimming pool. Okay? And these guys are all very toxic to your whole body, but especially your thyroid, especially your brain. And so when you don't have enough iodine, your brain's not going to work as good as it could, your thyroid's not going to work as good as it could. Uh, once you do get iodine and you get this junk out of your body, your brain works better. When your thyroid works, it'll actually, uh, it regulates many thyroid hormones in your body, which control a lot of things, including weight. And uh, it also, uh, all the blood in your body filters through your thyroid and kills germs. And also, the main thing it also does is through pathways to the thyroid, it actually will detox all of the heavy metals. Thank you.